say Joran van der Sloot told them he knows where Natalie Holloway's body is, but that he would only talk about it with police in Aruba. In session correspondent Gene Casares is in Lima, Peru, where van der Sloot is being held for allegedly killing a woman there. Good morning, Gene. Now, we just learned that van der Sloot talked to police in Peru about Natalie Holloway earlier this week. What are Peruvian police saying about all that? Tonight, we spoke with Peruvian National Police, the head of the Homicide Division, Colonel Miguel Caña, and what he confirmed with us was that during the interrogation, at some point, Jordan Vandersloot said the following. He said that he knew where the remains were of Natalie Holloway and that he would only tell Aruban authorities. Now, he went on to say, according to police, that after killing Stephanie Flores, he took 850 soles from her room, which would be a little over $200, took two credit cards, and took her identification papers. And, Vinny, here's the headline today in the newspaper. This is El Comercio. It says, Robo habría motivado el crimen. And that means robbery motivated this crime. We also have learned from police that this was not the first time that they met in those early morning hours of May 30th. You see in the video, you see them shaking hands. They actually met for the first time on May 27 oh, at the poker go. tournament there at the Atlantic Casino. Now, Gene, uh, with uh, Vanderslope, well, this is not the first time that he's telling people he knows where the body is. He has made this statement before. This is his modus operandi. He has said so many times where he got the body. Now, every other time, according to police and reports, it's because of money. Investigative journalists in foreign countries have paid him money. He's been recorded interviews saying that he knows where the body is and has several scenarios. Now we don't know in this interrogation, was he asked this question or did he volunteer this information? Well, what we can confirm is that during this interrogation, Natalie Holloway's name was brought up. Yeah, it sounds to me like he wants to get a trip back to Aruba where he gets treated a little bit better by investigators. All right, speaking of investigations, Gene, what is the status of the investigation into the death of Stephanie Flores Ramirez? All right, formal charges have to be filed in this case, but what the police head of investigative homicide told us last night was that the police were denouncing him on three charges, murder, robbery, and obstruction of justice. So I think in the United States, this would be like preliminary arresting charges. But Vinny, it gives us the idea where prosecutors may go. This will be an aggravated murder, it looks like, a robbery, and during the commission of that robbery, a killing took place. All right, Gene Kassar is doing an unbelievable job down in Lima, Peru. Thanks.